A little while ago, the Feminist Frequency Twitter account posted, adding the option for gender-integrated teams to FIFA games could help us imagine that possibility in future real-world sporting events. Naturally, this led to people talking and arguing about mixed gender sports teams. All the usual kind of points showed up. Points like, if it doesn't matter too much for the sport, go ahead and do that. Someone was telling me that gymnastics even has a particular category for men and women to compete together. Then there's the whole issue of men would outperform women and it wouldn't be fun to watch, or women would get injured, you know, with the uh, contact sports in mind. Anyway, none of this matters too much. You've probably thought all of these things and seen all of these things. I'm going to try to take the conversation in a slightly different direction, and I'm actually going to argue for mixed gender sports teams. And the specification of teams is quite important. While I do believe that a male and female athlete should be able to, for example, box together, I do not believe that would make for very compelling viewing. Realistically, it would just be so horribly imbalanced that the only reason to do that would be for the two of them to want to try that. Seeing brutal sports injuries is always fun, but here I think the match would just be over too quickly. Where I think that imbalance doesn't matter is in team sports. While a single male and female athlete may not be an equal match for one another, is a team of half men and half women imbalanced against another team of half men and half women? And I have to wonder how strategy would change in that situation. Let's be super evil. Let's think about American football or rugby. The female players on your team could be seen as the path of least resistance and could be used to manipulate the plays of the other team. In contact sports like this, you already compare the different sizes of the players. Now you have a more extreme version of that. How do you deal with that? So for this video, I'm just going to run with the example of rugby. If you were going to have a mixed gender team, you'd most likely have your forward eight being men and then your backs being women. Bear with me here, that could be really fun to watch. If one team's forwards get past the other teams, they are going to smash through the backs and it's going to be exciting and fast. And it's not unbalanced, because we're talking about a team sport, the other team has the same problem. The backs are a bit smaller anyway, a bit more agile and better at evading things than smashing through. So what we have here is just the difference made extreme. Can you imagine a female back trying to zip through and score a try? They get tackled and they die. Alright, so maybe this isn't something anyone would agree to do or allow to happen. Just don't tell me that mixed gender sports teams across the board couldn't be exciting to watch. But, as usual, that's just another one of my harmful opinions.